I want to talk a little bit about the fact that it, women are trained to hook men. And men are very easily hooked. And so girls learn how to play that game at a very young age. You know, the fact that you realize you have some power and that you can pull someone's attention and that you can manipulate the situation and get energy and get strokes and get stuff from guys, would you talk about that? So, so there's a great story that I heard once that has really helped anchor me in my purity as a woman. And as Gurka Singh was mentioning, you know, women have the capacity to hook men, but it feels horrible to do that. And, and it doesn't feel like, um, it feels like, you know, extending from something outside of yourself rather than coming from your genuinity from inside of yourself. So being a single woman and anytime I would think, you know, anytime I felt pressure to either be married or, or that longing to belong and wanting to be with someone, I would recall this story and it would help me just feel contained in my own sovereignty, um, which is a story about Shiva and Parvati. And um, Parvati was sent down from the gods to go and uh, and be with Shiva and and have their to have a child and this child is going to be of great uh, service to humanity so she go, comes and incarnates with this mission and she first goes to Shiva and she um, comes with a harem of dancing women and and Shiva's just sitting in his meditation it doesn't move so she goes back and then she comes another day and this time she comes with a feast of all um, gorgeous foods that are exotic and intoxicating even the scent and, and um, Shiva is just in his meditation. So she comes back a third time, this time with most beautiful instruments and musical compositions and just so beautiful and still Shiva is doesn't move out of his meditation. So now Parvati is starting to think, God, what other tools do I have in my bag? She goes, mm, I did that, I did that. Okay, so she comes with a bunch of dancing ladies and incense and flower petals, just creating just a beautiful feast for the eyes and senses and, and Shiva's still locked in his meditation. So Parvati gets really sad and is like, oh, I tried everything I could think of and I didn't wake Shiva from his meditation and so she just climbs this mountain and she's just sitting there and she's longing to be back with the gods again and she's feeling sad that she didn't fulfill her mission and that she can't really go back and be with the gods until she does fulfill her mission and she's just sitting there in her purity and in her longing to fulfill her destiny and to be one with the gods again it wakes Shiva out of his meditation and he comes um, running up the mountain for her to be with her and then they get to you know, fulfill their destiny in that way. And that story always reminds me of you know, not to go out of myself but just to be who I am and to be in that purity of who I am and from there it will attract all that needs to come to me in life but that it will also attract my, my life partner. Why well, a good story. Like, 